Jeff and Kim Horwardell have been ranching in Santo, Texas most of their lives. We run some Angus Cross cows here and then we got another herd up in Young County that's uh, mostly horned cattle and uh, it's just a little cow-calf operation. We've always just been pretty small in the cow business, maybe one or 200 cows. The Horwoodells were looking for a way to give back to their community. Uh, Horns for Hope, we're a nonprofit organization. Um, my husband Jeff and I formed this about a year and a half ago after reading an article about the 1017 project in Powell Butte, Oregon. Um, basically, in a nutshell, what we do is we donate uh, ground beef to local food pantries and other organizations that could use the help. So here on the ranch, they raise cattle to be processed for the cause, or they accept donated cattle from other ranchers, finish them out, and take them to be processed. We use a processor in Evant, IO Ranch Processing. Uh, it was important for us to have a USDA inspected facility, and they are, and they have been uh, awesome supporters for us, and um, we're just thankful that they, they, got, they fit us in their schedule. Once processed, it's time to deliver them to those smaller food pantries in a five-county area. A frequent stop for Horns for Hope is the First Baptist Church of Santo Food Pantry. I think it's crucial because a lot of them will not have this quality protein product in their menus. And even if they went to the store, it's impossible to buy the quality in their budgets, most likely. Our thought was that maybe they don't have the resources or it's a long ways to town for them. And if we can get involved with the community and church-based pantries in these small outlying communities, uh, we may be able to do more good at, at this point in our organization's uh, time frame. You know, we started small and we're going to build and just see see where it goes. We're just kind of leaving it in God's hands and see, see what happens with it and we're willing to try to keep up. The next stop is Foster's Home for Children in Stephenville, a faith-based organization that's caring for and feeding several dozen kids on campus every day at any given time. For Doug Young, this donation really helps out. Uh, to be able to provide high dollar beef, good quality beef, uh, it helps us. It helps our budget, and, uh, and we're grateful for the fact that we've been able to part partner with them now for a couple months. Thank you, sir. Ag Commissioner Sid Miller helps with the delivery of beef on this day. He knows the importance of the work being done here and the critical role of the Texas ranchers who are giving back to their community. It, it just tells you everything about the character of a rancher, you know, and the heart that they have for the community and for the fellow man. Uh, they obviously love the land, but they also love their, their fellow man. And this is a way for them to give back to the community, help these kids, you know, give them a hand up, get them a start, you know, make sure they're fed good and, and have some, you know, we want to train them on good Texas beef too. <laughs> At Horns for Hope, it's an all-volunteer organization. No one's getting a paycheck. But what they are getting is the satisfaction of knowing fewer Texans are going to bed hungry. I mean, there's a lot of people that are struggling right now, and, and we're just a small piece of the puzzle. I mean, the food pantries are a, a big piece, and, um, and our donors, our supporters, I mean, we could not do it without the support that we've been given um, monetarily and cattle-wise, and um, it just, yes, we're doing a service, but it really, it makes us feel, feel really good to know that we're, we're able to help. Bye, y'all. See ya. I'm Tammy Orinder for Texas Agriculture Matters.